The latest issue of Darth Vader is out, and it is one of the most explosive chapters yet. We last left off with Vader being thrown off into the abyss, left for dead of course, and on top of that he had one of his legs broken off. Just how did he manage to survive? Hello Star Wars fans, welcome to the Star Trader YouTube channel. My name is Jeremiah, and in today's video, we will be reviewing the events of issue 4 in the newest Darth Vader comic book series. Oh, good. In what is probably one of the most brutal events we've seen the Dark Lord commit, he is able to finally acquire his own lightsaber, but not without tremendous loss. And I'm not talking about loss to Darth Vader, no, he already got his blows in the last issue. It's his turn to strike back. Somehow, probably by the grace of his suit and the power of the dark side, Darth Vader manages to survive the unfathomable fall into the crevasse which he was plunged into. What happened after that? Well, it's probably the best part of the issue to be honest, at least in my opinion. It mixes part of his old self as Anakin and his new self as a Sith. Using the Force, Vader is able to use the parts of the droid he destroyed in the last chapter to repair his mechanical arm and fashion himself a new leg. In a way similar to how a Jedi constructs her lightsaber and let the parts kind of come together, Darth Vader renews himself. So although Vader doesn't have a lightsaber himself, this whole construction is in a way showing that he himself is the weapon. There's a Couple reasons why I love this scene. Number one, it shows that at his core, he is still Anakin. He'll never escape that, although it is clear that his skills are now tainted in a way. It's wonderful to see that his early years as a Sith still incorporate a large part of who he was during the Clone Wars. And number two, it shows off just how powerful he is. To survive a fall like that and to be able to get up and build himself back up that's the kind of stuff that makes the galaxy fear the Emperor's Enforcer. This series is all about Vader finding himself, testing himself, building up his infamy to become an unstoppable force, something to be feared. Once Darth Vader is able to repair his leg and arm, he proceeds to track down Master Infala in order to take his lightsaber. That was his whole mission, right? Luckily for Vader, Infala's ship is not in the best condition after not being used over such a long time. This delay provides Vader with enough time to catch up with the Jedi Master to continue their fight. During this time I want to point out that the whole world building is great and the emotions that the writers make us feel for the background is, is just not fair. At one point Master Infala tells a younger girl working on her ship that perhaps one day when he returns from defeating the Sith Lord He'll come back and teach the little girl the ways of the Force. You see what I mean? Now, let's be honest here. There is no doubt that Vader is going to win, right? No, not really. Stuff is to say that two confront each other on a dam that is keeping an entire city stable. The way Vader succeeds is by leveraging the Jedi's altruism and duty to protect. Whilst throwing a few guards off the dam, Master Kirok and Fala manages to use the force to pull the guards to safety on top of a ledge. While he is distracted by this, Vader slips the Jedi's lightsaber away from him and simultaneously crushes apart the dam. That's right, he crushes the entire dam. As Vader force chokes in Fala, he suspends the poor Jedi Master midair as the dam gives way and destroys the city below. His last breath is taken and he's finished off quickly and joins the water grave of the little girl he sought to train and every other civilian that had no stake in their battle. Did I say brutal in the beginning? I think I did. There's more to this scene though. If you recall in issue number 3 in our last video, Master Infala tried to kill Vader by bringing up a dam in front of him and drowning the Dark Lord. Vader's choice of breaking dam was more than just to leverage Infala's duty to protect as a Jedi. It was to make a point. He accepts that he is a monster. He accepts what it means to be a Sith. The most powerful Sith to ever exist for that matter. Darth Vader is the juggernaut of the dark side and if he has to destroy 
an entire city by breaking a dam to get something done, then he will. Point proven. This is the first adventure with Darth Vader in building up his own infamy. There you have it, Darth Vader's first confirmed kill in his new suit. He succeeded to acquire the lightsaber. Now all that there is to do is to bend the kyber inside to his will and return to his master. I'm still anxious to see the process of him constructing his own lightsaber. A Jedi's construction is an elegant process. I would like to see a Sith process to be a bit more, well, Sith-like. I'm sure the writers won't disappoint. I mean, this chapter was exhilarating as it comes. The next issue can't come soon enough, what can I say? This is probably my favorite series since the Darth Maul series, which didn't end too long ago. The next issue is going to be the last one in the volume series, so it's going to conclude and wrap up Darth Vader's pursuit for his lightsaber. The volume after that is going to be continuing the hunt for the last Jedi in the galaxy. Who will Vader run into next? I personally want to see Quinlan Vos make an appearance. Are there any Jedi you would like to have appear in the series? Let me know in the comments below. I want to thank you all so much for joining me in this journey today. If you liked the video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're a Star Wars fan, don't forget to hit subscribe for more content like this and much more. I sincerely encourage you purchasing the comic for yourself and reading it by supporting your local comic book store. Until next time, Star Wars fans, may the Force be with you. Thanks for tuning in today. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're a Star Wars fan, you definitely want to make sure you subscribe. Take the time to visit our Patreon account in the description below to help support the channel and all future products we have in store. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to keep up with my day-to-day -day vices. That's all for today, Star Wars fans. May the Force be with you.